Hey there, laser makers. Uh, Jim here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial for Lightburn is going to be about uh, CSV merges uh, or loading data in via uh, comma separated values files. This can be useful if you're making, uh, say, ornaments or uh, any, any type of thing where you have a custom data that you want to import uh, to burn uh, your items with customizations, but you don't want to have to redesign all those. Uh, so for this example, I'm just going to make some ornaments with some softball player names, positions, uh, names, numbers, positions. I've prepared ahead of time this uh, this CSV file. Uh, it just has some last names, some some uh, jersey numbers, and some positions. Uh, I don't know much about softball, but uh, I assume these are all valid positions. Anyways, so I've prepared this uh, CSV file. Um, the way CSV files work when you do a merge in Lightburn is by column number. Uh, so like the A column would be percent zero in Lightburn. Uh, B column would be percent one, percent two, and so on and so forth. And then the row numbers would be offsets. Uh, I'll get to that here in just a, in just a moment. So keeping this uh, CSV file in mind, I'll uh, get back to Lightburn. So I've kind of taken the uh, taken the pre preparation part uh, and made some ornaments. Uh, the one on the left here is just uh, my name, and I've just put in some data just so I can see how it looks while I lay this out. Now I did manually lay these out uh, or manually copied these and advanced the offsets. Um, if you use the array tool, um, you can tell it to advance the offsets automatically. Um, but we'll go ahead and show you how that works. Uh, so the first thing you do is, um, this does rely on your layout being correct. So uh, if you, say, you put the last name in here, I've selected, you know, my last name. You have to make sure that you've aligned things properly, and that you're aligning to the middle. Uh, because as different names come in and they're going to be different lengths, you don't want them to be adjusted left or right. So you can't use like a left hand alignment and expect it to come out right. So generally aligning to the middle is appropriate. Um, so let's move forward. So um, what we do here is we're going to create these items. Um, so each text item uh, again, these the values of these text items are going to be the percent zero, percent one, percent two. This is related to the columns in the CSV file. Uh, and then what we do is in the in the text control, we set this type to merge CSV. Um, this is going to be how it knows that this is supposed to be brought in from the text file. And then the offset again is the row number. So generally, this is going to be zero. Um, so your first item, especially if you're going to use an array, uh, these are all going to be offset zero. So this is offset zero, offset zero. So these are all part of the first row. Um, and then each sequential one that you create, or if you use the array tool and use the uh, auto advance, what is it? Auto increment variable number. Um, so this would automatically create this for every item you, you have in your array. Um, so the, the next item is going to be offset 1, uh, offset 2, and offset 3. So I have uh, four rows total. It starts at 0. Uh, so for now, that's all I need. But you can do this with any number of things. You can also do different sets where if I had like eight, eight names but four items per, per burn, I could do the first four and then uh, advanced using the variable text window, I could advance to the next set. So if you don't have the variable text window uh, shown, this is in the Windows thing, uh, in the Windows menu. Down at the bottom, there's an item that says variable text. That's what adds this variable text tab. This is where you're going to load your CSV file. Uh, so let's go ahead and load that. I've just uh, called it example softball. Uh, so it's going to load that file. And if we hold the test button, it's going to show us what the results are going to be. So we're going to load. Uh, you'll notice here, if I bring this kind of 
on the screen at the same time. I don't know if we're going to be able to see that. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can see the CSV file. If we hit test, it's going to show us what the results of that test is going to be. Um, so two of the things we can do is we can just move forward with this and burn this, or we could bake this into the into the uh, design. If you wanted to like preload these for further processing later, you might want to bake these, right? So you just create the template, you know, uh, examples of this would be like if you have say an outline that you need to do post-processing on each time you might like bring these in bake them and then do some additional post-processing before you finalize your before you save the file uh, example of this would be like if you're doing ornaments with names on them you might have an, an outline so you're gonna have an outline with the same text but in a larger maybe a larger size um, so that would also be like the same percent value. So you basically load both of those things at the same time. Uh, you bake them and then you do post-processing to like merge the outer value to the frame or something like that. Uh, we can get into an advanced tutorial like that someday uh, if that's of great interest to people. But anyways, that's kind of the gist of doing CSV merges. I hope this helps someone, uh, and by all means, if you have questions, just uh, hit, hit me up in the comments down there, and we'll see what we can do to get some, uh, get some answers for you. Thanks.